I look busted right now. I know. You're not gonna tell me. I, I've been just under the weather and so tired lately that I didn't even put makeup on today. So, <sighs> let me, um, and then look, I f oh, friggin' hate my skin, dude. I started using this Bliss stuff. Um, Bliss. It's like a serum or like an acid thing. And it freaking broke me out. I, I'm just going to stop putting product on my neck because <sighs> I was not blessed with good skin at all. And it could be like my background and stuff. Like my parents. Which sucks because whenever I go like to a skin doctor or something, they're always like, what's your ethnicity or what is your background? And then they like have a hard time with like what to do with me because of what I am. So... <sighs> Whenever I use something, it just boils my freaking neck up. So if you ever see bumps right there, it's because I got a hold of something that I shouldn't have and I have to let it go away on its own. So, ignore that. So, back to what I was going to say about the story. Um, the time I had a stalker, and I've had plenty of stalkers in my life. I am 30 years old. But from, like, the time that I was, I want to say... Um, I was young when I first started getting stalkers. Like, I could go and tell you guys stories about stalkers from before I was even a teenager because I never looked my age when I was younger because I was tall. Most, I mean, my entire life I was tall, so everybody mistaken me just because I was tall that I wasn't my age, you know? Um, so, yeah, this story took place uh, in Buffalo, New York, where I used to live, and yes, for those of you that don't know, I used to live there for a long time, and I most of my stories take place there because I did a lot of growing there, and I spent a lot of time there, so that's where a lot of my crazy experiences happen and my crazy stories take place. So if I'm going with story times, that's where it's going to take place. All right, so this guy, he was a Spanish guy, and I'm going to say the um where i lived it was like a different like a, it was like a mixture of different people um but majority being black or hispanic um in this in this case um the guy was i want to say dominican or puerto rican i don't even know he was one of the two so uh he was bald he was short he was um i'm gonna not, he was handsome you know um, I never done anything with him, just so you guys know. Let's clear that and get that straight right now. So, I used to take the bus. Um, I was home health care, so me and a client used to take the bus out to a Walmart because we didn't want to shop in these um, overpriced supermarkets or, you know, like we wanted to get out of that and then go to like a nicer neighborhood and... We love Walmart, you know, but we had to go so far just to get there. And so we would go, and there was this guy that worked there, right? This guy, um, he was a stalker. Like, he would stalk the shelves and stuff. So I go in there with with this client, and I'm, like, helping him with the shopping and stuff. And then, like, I always see this guy, but he didn't really pay attention to me. And... <sighs> Me, I'm, like, crazy because, like, there's, like, a subway, like, the place you buy sandwiches. There's a subway here. And then, like, I would have to go out and check to see if the bus was coming or not because we had to go outside and be outside at a certain time. So, I told the guy, I'm, like, I'm going to go out and see if the bus is coming yet. He's like, okay. So, we, I went out by myself. And then I come back in. And then this guy sitting here with his... I want to say his girlfriend, but I'm not sure. And then the client was over on the other side. So I just walk around. And me being young at the time, I was probably like 19. And I'm like clueless to anything, you guys. Like, I am clueless to anything. Like, I don't even know how to flirt at this time. Like, I am so shy, even to this day. Like, I may not come off as shy, but to a guy... Especially if, you know, like, it's, like, a date or I like him or whatever. If I'm not used to him, I'm very shy. Like, I'm shy. Like, it's crazy. So, me not knowing, 
that eye contact like if you make eye contact with a guy that is a sign that you know like you want to like get to know him or you know, I like you you know whatever eye contact means since you hold eye contact for a long time <laughs> so now I don't do that because of what happened in this story um so this guy is sitting there with his girlfriend and she's like rubbing his head his little bald little head and then I'm walking by and I'm like I just look at this guy like I don't know don't ask me because I wasn't even looking at him like that like I don't know what the fuck I was thinking I just looked at him for a minute and then it, the minute turned into like five minutes like I just walked by and I'm just like staring at him like just staring at him and then he just like does not break eye contact the whole time his eyes follow me as I walk by <laughs> I'm like wasn't even thinking I wasn't embarrassed I just stared at him because I'm like what are you looking at huh? like <laughs> you know I'm stupid like I don't even know so I held the eye contact for a while not knowing how he might have taken it because my dumb ass don't know that that's considered like flirtatious or maybe I'm just a little thoughty thought you know like somebody might think that of me like oh no so I think it's crazy that I did that and I'm like didn't know it until freaking years later like I always do <laughs> so anyway <clears throat> I started seeing this guy like, the bus that I was on would go, like, he would be, like, on the bus going beside us. And I'm like, oh, what the hell? Like, and I nudged my client. I'm like, that's that freaking guy that works at Walmart. <laughs> like, this guy right there, he's in his car. <laughs> so he followed us from the store to where I lived. And I'm like, yo, like, this guy is crazy. <laughs> And I'm just like, dude, like this guy followed us from freaking Walmart all the way out to the apartment building, which is like 30 minutes away. And he got out and he lives in the same fucking apartment building that I lived in. <laughs> I don't even know what floor he lived on because I was on the 10th floor. But he had to be on like the second or third, maybe fourth floor. I don't even know. So this guy was like in the same fucking building. And then one night I just, you know, I'm not ne I'm not that mean of a person. I'm actually really nice if you get to know me. Um, I'm just very helpful. So uh, I opened the door for him when one of my, my friends just walked right in. She just let the door slam on him. <laughs> like, yo, like you let the door slam on him. So I held the door for him and He's like, thank you, you know, he smiled and just kind of had that like little blushy look to him. And I'm just like, like, you're welcome, you know. Then like that must have led to more of him thinking that I liked him, liked him, which I didn't. I was just being nice. And then like I would always see him at the Walmart store and he would, uh, <laughs> he would always stare at me when I came in there, follow me around and smile. Then I had to take, then I went to the, the um, hospital well, for the client for an appointment, a doctor's appointment. We was on like, I don't even know, 11th floor. I don't even know how many floors they had. We was up there though. And guess who I freaking saw? It was that fucking Walmart stalker being a stalker. Like literally being a stalker. Like he was over there following me. He was standing there and watch me and smile and try to be noticed and seen. I'm just like, yo, like I didn't mean to for him to like me like me you know so then like one day he got a hold of me in the elevator and he was like you know like who's this guy you're always with is it your husband your boyfriend your uncle your father is he your friend I'm like he's a friend then he just like kept following me after that and he just like talked to me and bugged me and finally he moved out of there but it just got crazy to the point where it got scary to where he was following me he never asked me out though which is weird he had a kid you no know, he had a kid in I don't know, there's a lady in a building that he would always, like, talk to. She was kind of an older lady, but it could have been his girlfriend, I don't know. So, it was really weird, because I didn't know what flirting was, really. I mean, I didn't flirt purposely, you know. Um, but needless to say that I fucking learned from that and learned not to be looking, holding eye contact with guys for too long, because... They might take that as a really serious thing and it can get you into some trouble so 
that was my experience with the stalker, just running into him at Walmart, running into him at the hospital, him chasing the fucking bus on the expressway, going to the building, following me when I was checking the mail, everything. Like, it was creepy as hell, you know? So, um, let me know what your guys' um, thoughts are on stalkers. Like, what is your experiences with stalkers? Um, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.